Anyway, I decided to talk about this week. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, this is not a paid marketing stunt, but I think it's just very, very interesting content. Uh, as a you know, just like ours, you know, but a uh, little, di- little different uh, uh, stories to be told on this channel. But this channel is called the Soft White Underbelly. I thought you were talking about how when your belt buckle gets it, well, you that's driving for a while. Yeah, that sucks too. But uh, Mark Leda or Lita, Laeda, however you say it, he uh, he's a uh, he was he started his photography career at age 14, 15, and as a teenager, he worked on a series of portraits of Chicago's homeless, mm. which thirty years later matured into an, and expanded into like his full blown um youtube channel but it's basically he he just he interviews basically i i would only as only the way to describe it would be just like kind of like taboo people now see i've heard you talk about this but i've never seen it oh I've yeah never, so uh, it's I've heard uh, it other than by you it is super super interesting so uh the other day i stumbled across one and i think it's the one i talked about the other time before where i just briefly touched on it, but he he interviewed a, an executioner from a federal penitentiary, and maybe it was a is it a federal pen in, in Alabama where they do executions, or would it be a state pen? Every state, not all states have federal penitentiaries. Most federal most federal um, death penalties people are held in Terre Haute. So okay. I was like, we're uh, Timothy so, so McVeigh, the okay. Oklahoma City bomber. Okay. But they have different ones. They're not in every state. Right. But a lot come to Terre Haute. So, that, so this must have been like a, a, um, a state pen is where this guy was sure. working at. But if you go to, if you go to Wikipedia and you, you type in Soft White Underbelly, the YouTube channel, it, it just says people who are frequently – he interviews people who are frequently invisible in society. The unhoused, the sex workers, the chronic drug users, the runaways, the gang members, the poor and the sick. Leda, who previously worked as a commercial photographer, created this channel on April April 16th as an extension of his 2009 book, Created Equal. But he goes on to tell, like, all kinds of stories, man. He's got, you know, he when he first launched it, it was like, I think it was in 20, yeah, April 2016, after an interview with a 21-year-old prostitute named Kelly. And he grew 3,000 subscribers to more, he went. He, we went from three thousand subscribers to more than five hundred thousand in less than three months, just because of like the taboo content. So I guess if we wanted to start finding strippers and crackheads to come in and talk to us, we'll see how that all goes. Well, the thing that makes his podcast unique, and I have a little bit of experience in the soft underbelly world oh, from my yeah. previous life. 100%, yeah. Like, if you would pull a room of 100 people, mm-hmm. they would probably have no clue that prostitution occurs here in Dubois County. Oh, yeah. Or human trafficking, how, like, mm-hmm. legitimate. Like, think about what's happened with P. Diddy recently with that all blowing up. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, what's he got going on? I've been oh, seeing a lot shit, of stuff Dave. on the thing. Lou, I, he's did got, you see all the memes uh, of the lot. of the the memes of like the police officers trying to climb the steps to his house, mm-hmm. falling, falling down like the? I yeah. seen one where he's like half in a jail bar and like they half found, walking through it. I don't know what was the total. Like Three thousand. I think it was a thousand plus bottles of either uh, baby oil or, or lube. 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 Oh. Yeah. yeah, well, maybe he's... Yeah, so anyway, I don't know. I, if you guys get a chance to talk to to check it out sometime, uh, go on uh, YouTube and just check it out after you check us out. Check us out first and then go there. I can't remember. He had a video where he, 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 named, his, um, he named his YouTube channel off of uh, a quote from... Um, God, I'm going to butcher the shit out of this, but was it Winston Churchill... I mean, that was a person. In World War II? Mm -hmm. Winston Churchill was in World War II, Casey? Yes. So he said that... He was the prime minister at the time. Of? Great Britain. Right. And he said that Italy was the soft white underbelly of Europe during the European theater, theater of World War II. Like, that was the most important spot that they needed to protect. Because if that was infiltrated by the Axis powers, then they knew. I'd have no idea why Winston Churchill said that, 
but he did. And that's why Mark Leda named his show after the soft white underbelly, because like that is, those are the people that need the most protection, I guess, is kind of how he referenced it. Hmm. I would think, though, like soft white underbelly is just the part you don't realize is there, but is definitely marginalized the most, which is probably the soft part. Um, I, I think I saw a clip and I think we had talked about it on our show, the teacher over there in Missouri that had got caught doing only fans mm. oh, yeah. and he was talking to her about, yeah. I just saw it was a clip. I don't know. I was strolling through if it was TikTok or Twitter or wherever it was, but it was just kind of a unique conversation because everybody reads the headlines. We read the headline. We joked about it. Oh yeah. And we talked about it, but you know, she provides her a story of. You know, when you're, li- you know, you can't do a lot of the things you want to do living off of a $42,000 a year salary when she could go make six figure plus when it comes to doing no, things. Argue, on you probably would have known what the salary was like before you started. Though. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's. We got some teacher friends on that listen to the show. Right. That, and, but not all of them showing their beehole on the internet and blaming it on the south. That we know about. That's just what they like Woo. to do. There while you, is while a, you were in your coma, I, I spread my <laughs> I spread my my concho. I spread my there is a my song that a younger feller told me about today called Bruh Moment. Uh-huh. It's called Bruh Moment. Okay. And it's about a dude that was going to go on the old porn hubs and uh, work up a batch mm-hmm. and stumbled across one of his teachers oh. Oh. on the old porn hubs there. And you know then, you can't access Pornhub now in the state of Indiana without providing your identification? And it gives you this, like, whatever the hell that, who is that lady on the front? <laughs> like, when you Google it up, like, there's some... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, me neither. I've just heard about it. But uh, <laughs> there was, like, a, there's a woman that pops up. It's like a security, like, Jesus... Yeah. Jesus is watching you type thing. Huh. But uh no, so this you pushed uh, right through, huh? Mm-hmm. Couldn't this, get your ID out fast per- enough. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Dear user. <laughs> huh. That always makes you feel good. Yeah. Some old timer that I work with uh told me about oh, that. Oh, that's yeah, what it is. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I don't know. Soft white underbelly. It's a really wild trip. So like does he you, do like weekly shows or it's his YouTube channel. It's just a YouTube channel. So if you I don't. I don't even know if he does a podcast, but I, I just. I always stumble on it, like on YouTube Shorts or oh, but damn Instagram Reels and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe but, that's uh, where I saw. It. But yeah, they. Um, there's all kinds of shit on here, man. Like his. The, there's like twin strippers, twin prostitutes, like Lucius and Luscious Lair. I don't know what their name. Lucius are. and Luscious. But uh, yeah, John I mean, Bond. they're just. It's just wild, wild things, and you see the raw side like there's one dude that he's a uh he's a hardcore meth guy big time been strung out on meth forever and this guy's been doing like series of of uh interviews with this person to show the ups and downs of it yeah like when he's tweaking his gourd off and when he's dope sick when he's coming off when he's you know just like it is insane where does that get to the line, though? Mm-hmm. Like, you remember bum fights? Yes, Dave. You were talking exploding. about. I've never watched them, but I heard it. Oh my goodness! I mean, I heard about. We it. need to find. I some. think we talked Rufus, about it on one of the shows. Rufus, once. Rufus. But the where does it get to that where this guy is taking advantage of those marginalized, exploiting and yes, and exploiting what's mm-hmm. going on for him to make money doing yep. this? One hundred percent. You know the Whitakers? The Whitakers? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. From no, I have seen that. West Virginia. <laughs> You know, like that smart. guy. Yeah, he Mark, that was part of Mark his. Mark was the first one mm-hmm. to stumble across that, and they were all basically incestual inbreeders, Appalachian. Uh, yeah, because one of them didn't talk; he barked. No, he just he yeah. did, ah, yeah, ah, he just made those kind of noises. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but that dude, Mark, gave all of the money. Like he started a Patreon or something for these people shit tons of money and gave it all back to them like helped them with their house took them to the grocery store all kinds of stuff uh now where does that draw back. where does that draw the line to uh you know giving all those people that money to where they just blow through it i don't know idea it almost would have to be like it almost have to be one of them situations where you'd almost want like a trustee to 
make well, it they work. they can't handle that. Like, they ain't had money their whole life. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it'd be gone. Oh, uh, shit. Well, <sighs> all right. that's it. That's, that's all, all you got? got? Yeah. All right, buddy. 